What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now this video, um, I think a lot of you are going to be triggered by this video uh, just because this is going to be relating to a little theory of mine that I come, I have come up with as it pertains to what might be really keeping us from getting a lot of details about this movie. And this is pertaining to screen media. Screen media, I wasn't really aware of, of this, but they have like a lot of things going on as it pertains to constantly being in court for copyright infringement, um, ill-gotten profits, apparently where they have profited off of a movie without paying the other parties that needed to be paid distributing a movie the wrong way and doing it for free but then it's like profiting off of ad revenue and not like this it's a whole mess of what i've just been able to find as you see here on your screen there is a lawsuit filed apparently on november 7th 2019 that alleged a screen media breaches domestic and international distribution agreement with first american cinema by packaging the amazing wizard pause for distribution with other with other films and failing to report and pay profits generated from the millions of views the film commanded on various video on demand and advertising video on demand platforms now this was something that again was filed in 2019 and if i do some digging there was a there was a there was a ruling a federal court ruling that the amazing wizard of pause producer can proceed with claims against major distributors screen media ventures and crackle for ill-gotten profits and copyright infringement now screen media ventures i did do some digging to make sure that was actually the same screen media and it is they just they just have had name changes over the years uh there's another instance of this in 20 like 2020 or something like that 2017 even where fu2 productions was going against screen media ventures for copyright infringement and ip stuff uh there's another instance here that is from 2013 screen media versus a john doe in this scenario but it was for copyright infringement another one from 2018 mpc versus screen media ventures same thing copyright infringement and then another recent one that's kind of just justifying the first one i mentioned it's first american cinema versus chicken soup for the soul entertainment which is going to be the, the one who's under, that that oversees screen media all, all these other things voodoo Tubi, and this was again that that filing from november of 2019 when it relates to ill-gotten profits and copyright infringement so the other thing that is more relevant is the fact that this movie jeepers creepers reborn is supposed to come out this year the problem there is the most recent thing screen media has going on started in february of this year this exact year fantastic films international versus screen media ventures is taking place and it's been something that was filed back in february february 14th of 2022 this is also for copyright infringement now i don't know what this necessarily means for this movie but my point here and what i'm theorizing is that they're not trying to have that movie marketed as heavily as they are with this court case going on right now and because of the fact that it seems that screen media i can say now that this kind of backs up they're trying to profit off of a notable ip like jeepers creepers even though jeepers creepers isn't that isn't that big it's big enough for you to maybe come up with money real quick so you can pay off people you are in debt to you can settle whatever what other financial lawsuits and other things that you have going on that it seems to be like a constant thing with screen media uh and this could just be a way for them to come up with quick money and get them get the movie out there you, they know there's a fan base for it and they'll accumulate some money from it some revenue and then they can pay off whoever they need to pay off but the other thing that's interesting about this is there was another recent scandal in like last year sometime where a head of a company was 
falsifying apparently a two million dollar loan and screen media was associated with it and i'll leave a link to all leave the link to that specific article in the description and many other articles if you want to read up on some of this stuff but the stuff surrounding what i'm seeing with screen media indicates to me that they are not doing this movie if they're not distributing this movie of course for the sake of just trying to necessarily do anything for the fan base as much as they're trying to do stuff for themselves of course when i see all of these legal things that you're associated with i'm not saying that the people directly involved creatively are part of the problem but i think the distributor is the problem here they have too much dirt going on right now they also have been i would say kind of hiding the fact that again victor salva he's still gonna profit off of the fact that you have to go to him as the ip owner and come up with some agreement with him he had to be paid in some fashion he wasn't just going to say hey yeah go make that movie and i won't get anything from it that's not what has happened screen media apparently has a contract with him where they have rights to the ip for a certain period of time and they're going to have to crank out content within that window in that time frame and then it's going to revert back to salva at some point i feel like they're just fishing for ways to get money though only because of the fact that I see them tied up in so many legal legal cases, lawsuits, everything tied to copyright infringement. But this also begs me the question, did they indeed get the rights from Salva? I believe they have because, again, Salva would have no business not to take them to court over this. They're in court right now. They're actively in court right now. And I think this is why we haven't been hearing much about this this film and why the marketing and everything is kind of being stalled they know that they have things that might be coming their way legally from other parties that are not happy with them people that know they owe them money or vice versa just a lot of legal stuff and behind the scenes drama that screen media seems to be involved with that kind of puts a damper on hey let's not market this movie too much because then that might draw more attention to these court cases that we have going on especially one specifically that's been going on since february of this year <laughs> So I don't know what this means for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Honestly, it could just go to a streaming platform. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.